we go. Oh, oh yes, here we go. Tower pits Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra ready. Yes, we are ready to fly. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take a little quick tour of St. Louis because, you know, I recently traveled there with my family, so it's, it's something that I can kind of, you know, uh, kind of compare uh, now that I've got the 3080 Ti and I finally have the ability to crank the graphics up in this game. God, I've been waiting for this, and oh, wow, it is delivering, let me tell you, and I'm not even out of the airport yet. So, you know, i got to also say I love this this manned aerial drone thing. Uh, th this is nuts. I would love to have one of these for myself. Um, obviously, never be able to afford it, but... Uh, Wow, just, you know, even an ultralight. I, I would love to have just an, you know, one of these days, it's on my bucket list, I just want an ultralight. I, just, just something that flies. Find a little field, go out, and just fly, you know? So. I'm trying to pick up a little speed here. So, you know, I gotta say, um, also loving the Yaw VR. Uh, it is now working so good. Uh, the last couple of updates to Sim Racing Studio have really, really, really tightened everything up with this game. And, I mean, it is like the motion is just one to one. Loving it. Man, it's so cool to be able to have all the traffic on and stuff. I, uh, this whole new computer. Um, uh, winning this computer was, like, just the best thing ever. So I, I recently won a, a, an Aegis, um, an MSI Aegis. It's an i7-11700K. Um, it had 32 gigs of RAM. I popped another 32 in it, so it's got 64 um, running in a 3080 Ti um, with uh, the Z590 Pro Asus motherboard. And man, this is like night and freaking day over my old system. I can't even tell you. Um, old system wasn't horrible either. I mean, it was an i9-10900K with 32 gigs of RAM um, and a, an RTX 2070 Super on a Z490 Pro uh, motherboard. So, let's drop down a little bit. Get on the water, see if I can see these little ripples and waves. God, the detail level is stunning now. Before, it was just a mess. I, I, I mean, it was. I had to have the, the detail level set so low um, in order to not have a stuttery head in VR. And I know there's been other updates to the game that have just helped it run better in VR as well. But... Take her down. Yeah, I was just here last year with the fam. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, the river does not have uh, squiggly lines in it like that. A little stitching there, but that's all right. We'll take it. There's the arch. Yeah, man, the last time I tried to do this with my old system, it was just unplayable. I mean, about this point, I had no traffic. I had, I mean, this is, this is freaking me out. This is like real life. Let me 
to go over right over to where my hotel was. It had one of the best steaks I've ever had right over there. That's where the river boats were that we took. Crash into the arch, Don. Nice. <laughs> I love this game now. Oh my god, I am going to spend waste so much of my time in Flight Simulator 2020 now that I can actually run it. And hopefully one of these days in a yaw too. Um, I know they're finally shipping them. And uh, eventually I am supposed to get one, but not until they ship all the other ones. Okay, that steakhouse is right there. That's where our hotel was. Oh, this is so freaking nuts. Stadium. It's like it is it's like we do. We have the whole world now to explore. I mean, if you can't go there in real life, go there VR, guys. I mean, seriously. It's not perfect, but it's here. I think we'll land here and we will end the video. Let's rear back. Get a little. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So, oh, wait. No. Got to turn around so I can face you guys. I didn't realize I was. Let's see if I can see if I can do it. I'm getting really good at piloting this thing. There we go. All right, there we go. So, all right, there you have it, guys. A little mini tour of St. Louis, Missouri. And, you know, I got to say, I, I this is it. This is the pinnacle. You know, feeling a little bit of motion from the Y'all VR here, having the wide field of view here in the Pimax 8KX uh, with the high-resolution graphics. And, you know, now running at 120 hertz with the new update. That, that isn't just insane. So I'm going to going to put links for all of this in the description. I know this is kind of a prosumer setup. It's definitely not something that is feasible for a lot of people, but if you have the means, man, I highly recommend it. But for me, that's going to do it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.